My name is Diana Mwanza. Yeah. I recently came to Chingola. I was staying in Muflira. Yeah. So I was just hearing about this place even before I came here because there's somebody who visited this place. So she came back with a testimony and uh, she encouraged me to come here because of what I was going through because I'm delivered now. Yes. Uh, the, the, the main reasons why I came because of the family challenges, like my family background, where I come from. There's a spirit of witchcraft yeah, from my mother's family. We can't, we can't progress in life. Yeah, we can't progress. Things are just stuck because of this same uh, witchcraft forces. Yeah, I've been to school, I've completed school, but I've even done autom automotive mechanics, but I couldn't get a job from anywhere. And uh, it was difficult for me in getting married because of the forces that were fighting me. It, was, it wasn't easy to get married because I was in a relationship almost for, uh, for two years and some months. Yeah, and there wasn't any progress. The, the man couldn't go to meet my family. He was just pushing time. Like he would say, in three months time, I'll go and meet your people. After three months, he'll give an, another excuse. Yeah, so because of the forces, that we are fighting him. After praying, yeah, because I've been to different churches, yeah, seeking for solutions. So I, I used to pray for my marriage because a certain woman manifested in my dream that your time to get married has come, but I wouldn't allow that. So I knew it was coming from my mother's family, yeah. So I kept on praying, I prayed, I prayed until God answered on that one. But though I've, I've been married, there are some challenges also in my marriage. I try to do things that can, that can bring prosperity in my family because none of my family members is doing fine. Yeah. So I try to do business, it gets it gets uh, scattered. I've tried looking for a job. Like I completed school in 2016. Yeah, that's when I, I graduated from KVTC in Quito. Yes. So from there, I started going around looking for a job. But they will just promise that when you drop the application data, they will just promise that no, leave your line, we're going to call you. And there was no answer to, to that. I come from a family of four. Yeah, the first born, my sister. Uh, uh, she got married from, uh, from the first husband. They couldn't stay together. The, the, the marriage broke up and the second husband. Now this, the, the third husband has also left. So she's not with the husband, but she has children. But she can't do anything progressive in her life. She does business, but when she gets the money, after making money from the business, she will just squander the money on beer. And that's the, the only thing. She can't go to church. My siblings, they don't really go to church and like stand in the gap to pray over this situation. My brother graduated. He has done business management from South Africa. He has come back, he's in Lusaka. He has been trying to apply for a job from here and there, but he couldn't get any job. So even my elder sister, she, she drinks a lot. Life is not making sense for her. So I decided to come here so that the man of God can help 
uh, me and my family to be delivered that so so that things can move well in life i knew they were they were forces that were fighting because and no one is able to do better yeah we are just like he, people who haven't been to school yeah and it's unfortunate the status of my dad he cannot take care of us my mom passed on yeah so we, are, we remained with my dad and also my child i was having problems with my child yeah sometimes he could behave strangely and i was having revelations about him that he, he, he wanted yeah they want to shit him into satanism a few weeks back he was behaving strangely stubborn he couldn't listen uh, he experiences difficulty difficulties in breathing especially when he's sleeping at night and his healthy is not that okay he gets sick most of the times i just thought of seeking uh, spiritual attention from this place because of the testimony that i witnessed from one old lady that visited this place so i said to myself no i'll visit the, the pastor Pastor Mlinga, yes and uh, i came this morning to this place and i've seen miracles and I also got encouraged through the testimonies yeah that I was watching people were giving and I also believe that God has done it for me yes Have you done to this life? Talk in the mighty name of Jesus. What have you done to this life? Well, I didn't want her to get married. Okay, you didn't want her to get married. Yes. Now she's married. What have you done to a child? What have you done to a child? Hmm? I want to kill her children. You want to kill her children? Yes. You have done what to the children? I want to kill her children. Hmm? I also want to insert the boy. You want to insert the boy? Yes. In what? No. Into what? You want to insert the boy? Yes. Into what? Into satanism. Into satanism. Yes. Okay, you have done what to this boy? To the boy, please, not this one. Bring the boy. You have done what to the boy? You have... I've put a stubborn spirit in him. A stubborn spirit in him? Yes. Okay. His health? Oh, yes. He's not, he's not okay. I destroy him. He's not okay? Oh, yes. What do you mean if you say he's oh, not okay? Well, you have done what to his health? Oh, I, hmm? I will destroy the boy. Oh, he's having difficulty in breathing? Yes. Who is the causer? Oh, hmm? Who is the causer? Oh, okay. Who are you alive? Who are you? Who are you in life? Hmm? Hmm? I am a man. You are a man? Yes. Come here. There is a man. Jesus is the man that I know. Look here. Carry your rubbish out of our body. Fire in the name of Jesus. All over our body. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. You live her and her children. Fire in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus all over your body. Fire in the name of Jesus. From the head to your feet. Your stomach. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. You must go. You darkness. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. 
Remove everything you have put in a bottle. Remove them. Remove everything. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Now go. Out in the name of Jesus. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Out. In Jesus' name. Out. Going. No. You are going. No, no. No, no, no. Now go. She would not succeed. Hmm? You say what? She will not succeed. She will succeed. Our future is in Jesus. Our future belongs to Jesus, not to you. It was a mistake that you entered the body. If she gets free, the family will be free. Hmm? If she gets free, eh? the family will be free. That is Jesus. Joseph became free. And his entire family became free. She too should be free. And let her family be free. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now go. Go now. Jesus name. You are free. Start. experience was good. I really experienced the power of God just when he touched me. I could feel like something was moving in my body, something was fighting, like there was just that atmosphere, like not really normal. Yeah, that, that was happening. But now I feel okay. I feel I feel peace now. I believe God has helped me. I'm believing God for for a miracle because as I believe in the Bible, I can look chapter 1, 37, that there's nothing impossible with God. So I, I believe God that since I've stepped in this place, there are going to be a change. It's a powerful man of God because I could feel <laughs> the fire when it touched me, yes. I could feel something moving. So I believe God, because there's nothing that can, can defeat God. So I believe there's a miracle, there's breakthrough in my family. Yeah. I would like to encourage people, like when you see things they are not moving well, yeah, in, in your family, you seek prayers in short, yes, you seek prayers. You, feel, you, you seek the face of God because maybe there are generational cases and other demonic attacks, but if you are not in the presence of God, you cannot overcome. So I would like to encourage people that they have to be seeking the face of God because with God, everything is possible. Yeah, all things are possible to God. And uh, this is the arena of liberty. Yeah, because I believe in stepping in this place, things won't be the same. Yes, so people who are going through uh, different situations, different, yeah, uh, kind of lifestyle that is not making sense for them. Let them seek the face of God. Let them come to this place or just believe in God. He answers. Because I used to say to myself, who is going to deliver my family? I've been to different churches, yes, but things were, mo were not moving. And I kept telling God that I need to get deliverance because uh, some time back, I was longing so much like, to meet T.B. Joshua. Yeah, but I couldn't just get the access to go there. But after I heard that, no, there's a spiritual sign in Chingola. And God also located me to this place. Yeah, so it was 
it was God's plan that I found myself here. So that's my encouragement to people. They should seek the face of God because there's nothing that can defeat the power of Jesus. Jesus is more than our problems.